Have you ever had a moment where you're just driving in the highway, going to your mundane job? The next thing you know, you see a car wreck on the side of the road. You can't help but slow down and see what's going on. <coughs> what's going on over there? <laughs> And then afterwards, you just continue on with your pathetic life. That is Borderlands in a nutshell. A car wreck. But I guess most would say it's actually a train wreck. So I guess we go with that. Oh my God. How did it get to me? It's in my mouth! We live in an actual nightmare! <laughs> Borderlands is easily the worst movie of the year. I... <coughs> uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. My voice was a bit uh, raspily. Uh, anyways, yeah, Borderlands uh, sucked ass. I wasn't even sure when this movie was going to come out at all. I've heard about it. I heard about the announcement many years ago. And then the cast was announced, and already we're seeing the red flags. And then we saw pictures, and then we saw the trailer. After what, two years of radio silence? When the film was done? So, Borderlands, a very famous and popular game series. I am a huge fan. Borderlands 2 is one of my favorite films of all time. Wait, did I, did I just say film? Mm. Favorite games of all time. Even though the whole gig is about looting and shooting the fact that the second game story is superb if you're wondering why god of war ragnarok is so good that's because it's written by the same guy that wrote borderlands 2 just a little fun fact here but anyways borderlands movie after we got the cast of some reason getting old grannies in i swear it was made for my friend uh that guy jarvis because yeah i, I i'm i'm not gonna go there but you can tell that <laughs> the casting was just so questionable. The fact that they aged up all the characters who are supposedly between their 20s and 30s to being in their 50s and 60s, which I don't understand. And I guess Tiny Tina was aged up a bit and Roland is a small dude. <laughs> <laughs> played by Kevin Hart, who is just basically playing Kevin Hart, but trying to be serious, I guess. It's Pete. It's Pete. Why do you think it's called Piss Wash? How did I get the name? Because he's not, he's not funny. And that's the major problem of this movie. Because Borderlands definitely has its funny moments, but the jokes were really clever. Especially with Handsome Jack. Oh, he was... He was an amazing character. I'm glad he's not in this movie, by the way. We got some guy named Atlas. I don't know if he's in the games. Believe me, uh, it's been a while since I played the games, but he's just generic looking villain I've ever seen. But again, this movie just fails the number one thing it tries to do, and that is trying to make you laugh. And for me, I, I didn't laugh, not once. I literally became the Homelander meme. What's happening right now? I'm expelling the excess lead. Well, if you're looking at me, actually scrap that. Oh, I can't, I really can't. Keep looking at me. That was me the entire time I watched the film. And also another huge major problem I I didn't know that this film was PG-13 until I went to see the movie. I thought it was rated R. It was a huge miss, especially watching the violence and there was just no blood at all. And it was just boring. The action scenes were just plain and boring. Nothing creative about it. Very generic, very uninspired. When someone asks me, well, what does a movie without any heart put in look like? It's this film. Definitely reminds me of those early 2000s video game adaptation movies where they really don't give a rat's ass and the writers want to tell their own stories while piggybacking the IP of a well-known franchise. And then they get shit for it and then they wondered, what did I do wrong? I, I still can't believe how unfunny this film was. I never laughed. I don't know how you can make Jack Black not funny. And he tried with his claptrap voice. I can't give him shit for it. He really tried. Kate Blanchett as Lilith totally miscast and it's 
so weird seeing her with that hairstyle. And Lilith's hair is just red, but it's super bright orange in this film. And there are scenes with her, a close up with her face. You can see the dye bleed onto her forehead. It looks really messy. And also the accent. She obviously tries to pull an American accent. She's Australian. And what happens is there's a lot of times she's ADR, which if you guys don't know, is basically voice acting adding additional dialogue or even redoing some lines that didn't sound right and sometimes you can tell when you don't see the character's lips moving or you see the back of their head that's uh another way to add in additional dialogue and it's not really it's not a bad thing it can be good for adding a bit more information if done correctly and edited well but unfortunately there are times where lilith is talking and her lips are not moving and it's pretty bad and noticeable and also her australian accent slips out every so often but at the end of the day she got her paycheck along with kevin hart and everyone else also the girl who plays tiny tina she she makes a good young ahsoka but as tina she just tries way too hard and it comes off as cringe Ooh, mine's bigger oh shit i guess the only good character that's portrayed well is krieg but I don't know how you can screw that up. He's just a big, huge psycho dude with a crazy personality. The, the only thing is, they don't tackle that split personality with the more sane voice in his head. In which, I guess we can ask, why did we put Borderlands 2 characters? Why couldn't we just recreate the Borderlands 1 story, just add a bit more depth to it? But even so, it... You, you wouldn't have enough time for it. I think this film, or would have been better if it was a TV show animated as well, because the overall look of Borderlands, I think it would be a lot more appealing if it did have that CG animation 2D Spider-Verse style look, if you know what I mean, where it looks 2D, but it's actually 3D. I think that would have benefit the franchise so much more if it gets picked up by Netflix and they do that kind of animated show. But unfortunately, Randy Pitchford wanted to get the normies to get to play the games and get into it, but this film fails at that attempt and pleases no one. Fans and normies alike, everyone hates this film. And from the box office, it only made almost $9 million. That is such a huge bomb. Well, Randy got what he deserved because at the moment, I know people would say, let the creator of the IP get involved so that they don't have any studio meddling. But unfortunately, this is one of the rare case where maybe we shouldn't let the creator be involved because Randy just probably signed off on everything and thought this is going to be funny, people will love it. Unfortunately, that was not the case for him and now he is losing his mind over on Twitter. Look, there are assholes on the internet, but then there are people who are giving you constructive criticism over your work. But I guess Randy can't tell the difference and decides to block everyone or reply back with the same copy and paste response and then apparently they have to go and say oh borderlands 4 is coming out wow that's a great follow-up from a shit-tastic of a film right plus borderlands 3's writing is awful so even though the gameplay will be fun i'm pretty sure the story is going to be ass as well but yeah the movie what a disaster and the fact that you don't even put in the main reason of the game which is looting and shooting as a key factor in the film it, it, it's it's not there it's just jangling keys in the background going do you remember this and then they don't fight a single monster i can't even count that big huge one that we saw in the trailer because that was it majority of the time they're fighting psychos which okay at least the psychos look cool but other than that they're <laughs> the enemies that fight there's no variety it's just crazy i i don't understand this was just a cash grab at the end of the day there was no heart or soul put into this film they just want to make a quick buck and unfortunately they made nothing but hey that's just the opinions of a gumby